Hello everybody, Azumi here running Holy Winterland 8 star solo. Um, sorry I'm a little bit late on this video, but I've been out of town on emergencies. So, here we go. First up, I'm going to have Philzius in the front, and here is his gear. And next we're going to have Asuka. And keep in mind that non-elemental gear is pretty important here. And next is Larone. Right, and number four is going to be Chun Li, who I'm mainly using her for the debuffs, which work really well. And last but not least is Dual Horn Raspy, or Eve Horn Raspy, I'm sorry. And there we go. Definitely love having her for the extra drops. So here we go with the fight. Eve Sword DL is in the ranged row, is human, and is considered to be grounded. Her action skill, Luce San Spada, does 140% light magic attack damage and reckoning for 3 turns to the enemies with the highest attack, def defense, and magic defense. Reckoning applies only to Aesir. Her auto attack skill does light at magic attack damage and holy chain for three turns to all heroes in the connect battle. Holy chain applies only to Aesir and Elves. At seven star there is a holy field and at eight star there is a high holy field. Now time for the crystals and this is the fun part. The fire force crystal is in the ranged row. Its skill is Fire Resistance 50% up for 3 turns to DL, and Fire Attack Damage 5 times to the 2 nearest enemies, and 100% Magic Attack Shield for 3 turns to the front 3 allies. Next is the Water Forced Crystal is also in the ranged row. Its skill is Water Resistance 50% up for 3 turns to DL, Water attack damage 5 times to the farthest enemies, 2 enemies, and 100% magic attack shield for 3 turns to the 2 farthest enemies. The earth magic crystal in the ranged row is skill is earth resistance 50% up for 3 turns to DL. Earth magic attack damage to the three farthest enemies and stone skin for three turns to all allies. And on seven star and higher gives buff swipe for three turns to DL. And last is the dark magic crystal is also in the ranged row. And its auto skill is going to be dark resistance 50% up for three turns to DL and dark magic attack damage to the three nearest enemies and attack 30% down for three turns to the three enemies with the highest attack. On 8 star it restores HP to DL and defense and magic defense 30% up to all allies. So that's going to be about it. There's not too many other ones I can recommend for this fight. And here we go, here we go. Gotta love those double drops. And here is the damage. And thank you for watching.